guys and welcome back to my New Year's series. Today is an exciting day because it starts off the first day of my makeup chunk. This video and the next video are going to be talking about the organization and storage of my makeup. This one in particular is going to be talking about my actual makeup collection and how I organize everything. This video has been requested, so I'm really excited to put this out for you guys. And, uh, yes, I think that is all the introduction that you need. So I'm just going to jump into this. All right, so we're going to start here on top of my makeup collection with this little carousel Lazy Susan thing that I got from TJ Maxx, and it's pretty awesome. I like it. So this is where I keep all of my brushes and tools. Um, this section right here is all eye brushes. There's some Real Techniques ones. I have a Coastal Sense one in here. Just kind of a mis mix mismatch of like small eyeshadow brushes. These two right here, this is a Real Techniques and this is one from Sephora. Um, these are my powder brushes. So I use this one more for a highlight kind of brush. And then this one is a blush brush that I like to use. These brushes right here are all cream brushes. This is a cream brush from Tarte that I use actually for powder bl blushes because it like diffuses them. It makes them look so pretty. Um, this is an Urban Decay brush that I got in a Naked palette and I don't use this very much but when I do use it I actually use it for concealer. This Real Tex Techniques brush is their Deluxe Crease Shadow and I use this sometimes when I'm putting on the like cream eye shadows, so like the Maybelline uh, tattoos and stuff. I really like using this for that. And then this one is a Sonia Kashuk one I think. It doesn't, there's nothing written on it. Um, but I use this more for like foundation, like buffering foundation. In this one I have three sets, three, I don't know why, three sets of tweezers. I have this e.l.f. Um, makeup remover pen, daily brush cleaner from Sephora, and in this one I have an eyelash curler from Mary Kay and a pair of scissors that I use when I'm doing my eyebrows. And this last one is an e.l.f. kabuki brush. And because it's so short, if I were to just put it in there, it would sit all the way down here and it's hard to get. So I just filled this up with these like crafting beads and I just put it in there and it's easy to grab. So uh, pro tip, there you go. Okay, so starting in this top drawer here, this is more like everyday things that I need for like health, I guess you could say. But I want to start out by telling you about these dividers. I'll show you some other ones as I get down into the collection that they're easier to pull out. These I got um, at the Dollar Tree and I got these long skinny ones and then there's also some square ones. But these are awesome. I was before using things that were more like this. They're just like an opaque white kind of container. And I like these a lot more, these clear ones, because I just like the look better of what like how they look like in my drawer. Starting over here, I have some toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White. I have deodorant. I'm using Secrets Clear Gel, and this is in, um, what is this called? Cocoa Butter Kiss, and I really do enjoy this. Back here, I have this little acne scrubber thing. I keep the pads for those in this little container back here. Ooh, see, I told you, it's really hard to pull stuff out of here. Okay, so in this container back here, um, these are the pads for it, and then I also keep hair ties in there. Oh, there's my dental floss. It's hiding in the back. I also keep floss in this one. I have my glasses in here. They just sit on the bottom of the drawer, along with this Jergens Natural Glow Lotion. In this side of the drawer, I have these Crest 3D uh, white strips. I also have my contacts case in here. I have my contact solution. I use BioTrue. Um, there's a pair of nail clippers in here, and in the back I have this simple refreshing facial wash gel, and this is really nice because it's like super cold out and winter and dumb. Um, my face tends to get windburnt sometimes, so this is really nice to use when my face is a little windburnt because it's not, there's no like exfoliating beads in there, there's nothing super harsh or anything. And then I also have these two clips that I use to clip my hair up when I'm straightening my hair. This second drawer down here is my everyday makeup drawer and I'm not gonna go through this because I'm actually gonna have, an, um, it's gonna be its own video. This is going to be the video right after this one so watch out for that and if it is already up, I will link it down below. This next drawer down is where I keep products that are either new to me or products that I want to try out, like that are kind of on deck to go into my everyday makeup drawer. 
Um, but yeah, most of this stuff is either like new or stuff that I have found in my collection that is kind of new to me because I haven't used it in a really long time. But here, I'm gonna take this out so that I can show you the boring stuff first. So back here, most of this stuff I got in Ipsy bags. Argan oil, hairspray, Dr. Brandt, Microderm Abrasion Skin Exfoliant. I also have stuff like, this is a moisturizer from Pearlise. This is a CC cream for my hair. Some sunscreen that it's not time to use this right now. So that's in there. This is a peel off honey mask I got from Ipsy. This is a tanner that is clearly not to be used right now because it's winter, duh. Um, and then this is a L'Oreal hair serum. And just so I can show you, this is one of the containers that I got from Dollar Tree. And it's just this clear plastic. Yeah, this is the square one. And I love it. This here is from St. Ives. It's their Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. And I have used this a little bit. Um, it has these teeny tiny little microdermabrasion kind of-esque beads in there. And it exfoliates really well. And the smell of it is awesome. All right, moving on into the makeup. Um, I have this Wet n Wild um, bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. There's a, an NYC BB cream. I have some lipsticks from Maybelline. Uh, Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. So a Jordana lipstick. Two Wet n Wild lipsticks. Um, a NARS sample that I got from Sephora. There's two show off lipsticks in here. Um, there's a Jordana Fabu liner, lipstick liner, and a uh, Pacifica, what is this, eyeliner, I think, yes. Um, these two lipsticks are from Flower. There's a Flower eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, um, a Pop Goes the Shadow eyeshadow, and then some, uh, sample eyeshadows from Urban Decay that I got from Sephora. I know I went through those pretty quickly, but there is a lot to get through. This next drawer is skincare. Um, in the front here, I just have this pack of cotton pads for like removing my makeup and stuff. I have this Mary Kay moisturizer that I've been using pretty much every day. Um, back here is an Elizabeth Arden toner, uh, Elizabeth Arden deep cleansing mask. Both of these I got from TJ Maxx. There's two Mary Kay. This is their night serum and their day serum. A Mary Kay under eye age fighting uh, cream here. This is a Mary Kay mask and face cleanser. I don't think they carry this anymore, but this is my favorite mask and um, cleanser from them. It's a dual one. You can either use it as like a face wash or a mask. It's pretty cool. This here is a Desert Essence Blemish Stick. Um, I think it's just some tea tree oil in here. Um, and then you put it on some blemishes. It's a roller ball. And it helps clear up blemishes. And then back here, this is a NARS moisturizer. Next up is my hair care. Um, starting over here. Well, okay, starting underneath. This is a, this green thing is a mirror. I just don't have any other place to put it, so I keep it underneath my hair stuff. Um, I do have more hair things. I just keep them under my sink, but these are the things that I use. Well, these are the things that I use every day. Um, so I have this Batiste dry shampoo. This is the floral and flirty blush. And actually I used to be just a firm believer in using the brown tinted one because I have dark hair and I really liked it. Um, but everybody seemed to like this one like a lot better. And I was like, all right, fine. I saw it at TJ Maxx one day and I was like, okay, fine, I'll try it. And I do like this one a lot better. This is my brush. It's just like a flat paddle brush. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations uh, Heat Protectant Spray. Everybody raves about this, loves it, blah, blah, blah. It is great stuff. Over here, I have this um, beach spray. This is just to add texture to my hair because my hair is so flat and fine. It doesn't like to do anything. I use this when I'm curling it or trying to do anything with it. Uh, bobby pins, hair ties, a hair band, some more hair ties, a little flower clip, and then I want to pull this out so I can show you guys. This is, oh it still has a sticker on it. Um, this is the long narrow version of the Dollar Tree containers. Um, I showed you the square ones up in these uh, higher drawers. This is the, uh, the other version that they have. It's the long and narrow one. Um, and I don't know if these are still at the dollar store, they were at mine, so I just picked up a whole bunch of them and I'm like, you know what, forget it, they're a dollar, I'm gonna use them. These, I mean like, they're flexible and bendy, but they don't feel like they're gonna break in your hand, they're pretty nice 
sturdy material and um yeah again i just like the way they look in my drawers this next drawer is more or less my tool kind of drawer um i have things like eyelash glue extra pads for my eyelash curler there's some pencil sharpeners um these are for when i'm cleaning my brushes you put them around the brush and it helps keep their shape Two of these Johnson & Johnson baby shampoos to wash my brushes. This is a beauty blender cleanser. Um, this is a foundation matcher from Mary Kay back here. There's some eyelashes back here. More eyelashes. This is the um, little pack that my Real Technique Techniques brushes came in. And then a case for my glasses when I travel. Okay, now I'm getting more into like makeup-y kind of things. These are kind of very base foundation type of product. So these will be some of the first products that I use. So in here are all my chapsticks, lip balm, stick, squeezy tube kind of things. I don't know if you guys are really interested, but I'll kind of show you real quick. Uh, my two squeezy tubes, I have a Cherry Carmax and a Mary Kay um, Satin Lip Balm. This is a chapstick that I got in an Ipsy bag. I have a Bath and Body Works lemon one. There's some baby lips on the bottom here. This is a, this one here is a Pacifica one in Sweet Fig, I think. What is this called? Sugared Fig. Um, this is one of my favorites. I have a Dr. Pepper one from Lip Smackers. This is another favorite. And it, also with those, I got the 7 Up and AW Root Beer one. And this is a Nivea Shimmer lip balm deal. And that one's okay. I really like the smell of this one, but the the formula doesn't really do anything for me. I just kind of like the smell. It smells very luxurious. I have a couple of setting sprays. This is a backup of my perfecting base from L'Oreal. It's like a primer type deal. This back here is a L'Oreal Miracle Blur, another primer. And then this is my baby skin from Maybelline. I have some Vaseline with shea butter and an EOS in sweet mint. This organizing bin is um, from the like closet slash kitchen slash makeup organizing bathroom section. I don't know. You can get these anywhere like TJ Maxx, Target, I'm sure HomeGoods, Marshalls, places kind of have them. Um, but I really like the shape of this one and how it has the dividers and I can um just store everything very nicely. This drawer here is foundations, blushes, highlighters, um, bronzers. So in this section right here, these are powder foundations or, pr um, not primers, uh, translucent powders. So I have, this one is from Leo Ellie. I have um, an e.l.f. This is their tone correcting powder. Um, what are you? Maybelline Dream Matte. This one I think is Revlon, yep. Mary Kay translucent powder. Back here are blushes. So I have this Milani uh, one. This is their, uh, what is this? This is their like new collection one with the flower. Yes, I fell into the trap and I got it. This one is in tea rose. I like this, but it's very pigmented. This one is a cream one from NYX. An e.l.f. This is a Tarte. This is, what are you? I don't know what you are. L'Oreal True Match. I have a B matte. This one is from Revlon. It's a blush and a bronzer. This is the contouring blush and bronzer from e.l.f. And this is a blush that I got from Jenna um, from the Girl Inspired. We did a swap box. So this is the sleek, oh, you can't really see it. This is the sleek palette that I got from her. Back here, that's just a Wet n Wild um, Furky bronzer highlighter kind of deal. Up here I have um, liquid foundations and BB creams. Right now it's just all like BB creams and stuff. This is the Maybelline one, a Pixie, and a Rimmel BB cream. Here I have some overflow from my blushes. So there's three Milani ones. Technically this is an e.l.f. blush, but I use it as a highlighter. This one is a like kind of highlighter candlelit glow one from Revlon. Um, this is a Too Faced highlighter, I think. Radiant Glow Face Powder. This is the one that's shaped like a bunch of hearts. And then, oh gosh, it's gonna fall. Here we go. Okay. And then I have a, if I can get it, there it is, a Benefit What's Up sample. Back here, I have my bronzers. I have these back here because I don't use bronzers a ton. Um, but yeah, so I just stuck them back here because they're my least used. 
Um, I have, this is a pixie blush, but because I'm so fair skinned, I can use it as a bronzer and it looks really nice. I have two Mary Kay ones. <laughs> there we are. Um, this one is from Maybelline. It's a, what is this? Dream Sun. Yep, you just go down there. And then this is the Milani one back there. So first I'm just going to give you this overview look of my lipstick drawer. These are all my lipstick products. I'm going to pull them out and show them to you because of the way that they're set up. It's just so much easier. But this way you can see an overview of it. Here's one half of my lipsticks. These are more like kind of, I classify these as my grown-up lipsticks. They look like classic lipsticks and I don't know, like kind of more traditional lipsticks. So over here I have some, there's four Too Faced ones. Back here is a Bare Minerals. This one is a Makeup Forever. Two NYX ones. These are from Julep. These three little ones right here. This is a Sugar one. These two are from Revlon. Yeah, Revlon. This is a Makeup Geek one. These three are Mary Kay here. A Mirabella Rimmel? Milan. Milani, I should have known. I have the hiccups right now. These two I got in a box swap from Jenna um, again. I will link her channel down below. If you're interested in seeing our box swap, it'll be down there as well. This one is a Maybelline. This one is a City Color. Um, this one is a Revlon, I believe. Yes, Revlon. Get in there. Get in. Um, there's a little baby pot from Micah Beauty. This is like a potted lip stick kind of deal. These two are from Revlon. This is a, another Revlon. These are the Kate Moss ones from Rimmel. And this section here is more of like my fun, bright, color kind of things. As you can tell, there's just a distinct difference between these ones and the last ones that I showed you. This row here is all Revlon. This is Maybelline. Maybelline continues here with their elixirs. Um, these are the Vivids. These are some of my favorite ones from, from Maybelline. Um, and then this one, this is where Milani starts. I have a couple CoverGirl and then some Revlon here. So before I get specifically into the products um, in here, I wanna show you what I'm using to store these in because some of the people here on YouTube have like kind of pricey ways that they organize like they have the acrylic drawers and di dividers i have the hiccups guys i'm so sorry but i just want to show you guys that you can organize like without spending any extra money really just reusing products that you have so these um are all candle jars that i cleaned out from bath and body works this one is one of their like teeny tiny mason jars and it works great for lip liners and then these ones are the um medium sized yeah the medium sized jar candles and it works great to hold these uh, lip balms and stuff and before i got the drawer organizers from um, the dollar store, I was just using these cardboard boxes that I got some thank you cards in. And it's a really thick, sturdy cardboard. Like, I can't even bend these. They're more sturdy than the drawers that I have now, or the drawer organizers that I have now. But they're kind of small for me right now, and I just like the uh, clear um, organizers a little bit better. But I didn't pay anything for these. I just wanted to show you these things because I don't want you guys to think that you have to spend a ton of money on organizing your makeup drawers because honestly like I was thinking like that for a while but anymore I'm just like this works just fine for me right now. So there you are. Just so you know my little public service announcement. Starting off with this jar. This is where I keep my lip glosses. Um, I have a Rimmel one. This one is a L'Oreal Infallible. I have a NYX one, a Flower Beauty one, or I think it's just called Flower. Yeah, just Flower. It's the Drew Barrymore line. This one is from Kaylin. I got it in an Ipsy bag. This is a Revlon one. Um, this is a Glow Minerals, a Stila. Ooh, yikes, just throwing that all around. And, um, this is a J Cat one that I got in an MC bag. And they fit wonderfully right in here. And uh, the other nice thing about using these containers, it forces me to keep my collection whittled down. Um, I was to the point where I was just trying to balance some of my lip glosses in these jars, but then I was like, I'm not using all of these. Just whatever's gonna fit, that's what you're allowed to have. The next one I have here are kind of like lip crayon kind of deals. We'll start with the oddball ones first. Let's see. I have this one. It's a lipstick queen one. J Cat's uh, lipstick crayon. I then have this NYC lip stain. Uh, I have two of these CoverGirl jumbo uh, lip gloss balms. 
And then the rest of these are the Revlon Color Burst or just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Um, but these are all Revlon and I really like these. In the last little jar are my lip liners. Um, I don't have a ton of these, um, but I've been trying out a couple here and there, so we'll see how that goes. I have two Starlux ones. These are from Ipsy Bags. Um, I have Tipsy and what is this one? Naked. This one here is a Milani one in Sugar Plum. This is my like dark lip option. These are, these are blurry for you guys, aren't they? they? Sure are. Look at that. This one is a Revlon Color Stay one. This one is what are you? Oh, Rimmel. This is a Rimmel one. And this one is a CoverGirl lip liner. This one in here, this is NARS. Um, I got this in a birthday gift thing from Sephora. Um, it probably, I guess it should be in with my crayons, but it doesn't fit. Oh, it does, look at that, that's going in there. Okay, so that's it for my lips. I'm gonna do the same thing with my eye drawer that I did with my lipstick drawer. Um, this is the overview of it, again, because of the way it's set up, it's just easier for me to pull everything out and show you. But uh, this is the overview when you look into the drawer. I'm just gonna start off with my palettes. I'm gonna do the easier things and work my way to the harder stuff to show you guys. This is an MUA palette. Got this in my swap box from Jenna. This is a Stila in the Garden palette. I have a Lorac Pro palette and the Naked One from Urban Decay palette. Next, these are all of my cream eyeshadows. First one is this Vincent Longo one. Oh, I guess I have a pigment in here. This is a Maybelline Color Tattoo pigment in Barely Brazen, I think. Yes, Barely Brazen. These two here are from Mary Kay. Pale Blush here and um, Apricot something? Apricot Twist. This one is from Be A Bombshell in Submissive. Got this in an Ipsy box. Now the rest of these are color tattoos. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all the colors, but I'll lift these up. These are like my more colorful ones on the bottom because I don't use them. Uh, there's a more gray toned one, inked in pink. And then this is the uh, Bad to the Bronze, the super popular one. And I don't know if you guys knew this. I didn't know for a long time, but you're supposed to store these things upside down. So if you have like the color tattoos, for example, um, like the, a lot of people store them like this so they can see the names but I guess you're supposed to store them upside down. And now we have Big Bertha. Okay, so over here I have this um, e.l.f. eye primer. These are eyebrow products. I have some more gel liners back here. Um, this is one from e.l.f., this one's from Ka uh, Kaylin. Back here I have my liquid liners. I have a green one, a brown one, and a blue one. Here are my more crazy colored eyeliners. Um, yeah, just a whole mess of them. These are more like brown, black, neutral colors for eyeliner. And I have a couple of jumbo eye pencils. So I have two from Tarte. These two outside ones are from Tarte and the middle one is from uh, Rimmel. It's their scandalized line. Back here I have my mascara. So I have a scandalized one from Rimmel. There's a Model Co one. This one is a showgirl one that I got um, from, oh, it's Barry M, sorry, uh, that I got in my swap box with Jenna. There's a Rimmel, uh, what is this, Revlon, NYC, this one is CoverGirl, I think, yep, CoverGirl, um, this is the Rocket from Maybelline, and I have a little bitty Makeup Forever one. Moving up to this front part here, these are all eyeshadows. Um, this one I got an Ipsy bag. It's, I don't know the brand. Nobody knows the brand of these. It just has the little martini glass on it. I have a NYX shadow. Uh, these are all L'Oreal pigments. I think that's like their infallible line. Yism, infallible. Um, these are L'Oreal. L'Oreal. I have three little like quad palettes. Two Milani baked eyeshadows. A Pacifica one that I got in an Ipsy bag. This is an Almay one. I have two more Pacifica ones. This is a Bare Minerals that I got in an Ipsy bag. This last section over here, I have an Almay trio. There's a CoverGirl trio. I have a NYX trio that I got in an Ipsy bag. This is a NARS Duo um, that I got for super cheap. This one is a Tarte one. This is a Mary Kay one that I really, really love, but it broke, but I'm still loving it because I love it. And the last two things in here are two L'Oreal singles. 
And uh, that wraps it up for my eyes. And this last drawer here is backups and extras of products that I have. Um, so starting off here, I have just a, a makeup bag in case I need to pack some makeup. I just keep the bag down here. And then in this basket, I have a bunch of extra mascaras. Um, there's a contact case. I have backups of my Mary Kay mineral powder foundation. This is a backup of a um, shine serum that I use from Garnier Fructis. I have some hand sanitizer, some of the Sally Hansen, it's like a quick dry nail drop thing from nail polish. I have a Mary Kay eyeshadow primer and a backup of Pacifica, the sugared fig lip balm that I really like. These are two Mary Kay mascaras. This is an extra Colgate Optic White toothpaste. All three of these here are Mary Kay satin lips. I have four, four backups of the L'Oreal Perfecting Magic Base Primer that I really like to use. A backup of the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Fight and Fade Gel that I really like for acne. Um, oh my gosh, some more Mary Kay um, satin lip products. I have a backup of the Mary Kay Night and Day Serum, some moisturizer, there's an extra palette back there from Mary Kay, some contacts, contact solution, and I believe that's it. Cool! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that wasn't too extremely long. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to describe to describe. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos coming out in this series and future videos. Also, I'm interested in seeing how you guys organize your makeup. I need inspiration for my makeup drawers. I really want to get the Alex 9s, but I don't have them, so I'm just looking for organization tips for the drawers that I have. Lots of hand moving. Give me a comment down below letting me know how you organize your makeup drawers, because as I've said before, I'm pretty sure you guys are super creative. You're just hiding it. Stop being selfish. I want to know how you do things. If you're interested in seeing the other videos in this New Year's series, make sure to check the description bar down below because there is a playlist listed for you. I think I'm going to stop talking now. The Gavi is really getting to my head. All right, guys. Well, I think that is all I have for you today. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. So leave me a link down below. Leave me a link. Make sure to check. Check. Ugh. Mm hmm. I don't really remember where I left off. Ugh. Seriously, get it together. Welcome back to my. What is this called?